Okay, a quick lesson on working with loops between Audacity and Crystal. You can time stretch a piece of audio or a loop in Audacity and change the tempo of it so that you've got a set of loops that will work together in a sequencer. We'll start out with this loop here. This is a percussion loop. Just drag and drop it, drag and drop a loop into Audacity. What you can do is select all, control A, and then go up here under effect and say change tempo. Now you can change it by percent, you can change it by beats per minute, or you can change it by length. If you know what the tempo is for sure, then you can change it from one tempo to another. But not all loops are created equal. So sometimes it's better to know what the time is that you're working with. If you want to create a song that has a standard tempo of 120 beats per minute, so if you loop this, it doesn't sound to me like it loops perfectly. Now here's a little trick. Zoom in on the very beginning of the loop. And you can see this flat spot here. Well, that's a little dead air before the loop actually begins. So select that with your selection tool and press the delete key on your keyboard. Now go all the way down to the other end of the loop and take a look at that. You'll see you got the same thing there. So select that and delete it. So you don't have any gaps. That'll make your loops a lot tighter. Most of the time when I find loops, they need to be tweaked like that. Now if you loop it, it should sound a little smoother. Okay, so let's go effect, change tempo, and right here it says 3.95. So that's still not 120 beats per minute, even though this loop was supposed to be 120 beats per minute. So what you do is change that time to 4, and that's going to make it 4 seconds long. And then say OK. Now, file, export as wave. Give it a name, and you've exported it as a wave. Now open Crystal, and the default tempo is 120 beats per minute. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want, but let's just stick with that for now. Okay, go up here to the first track, click on this little thing that looks like a folder. That will open your working folder, and there's the wave file we just created. Open that and it'll load it into the track. And you'll see that it lines up with the marks on the timeline. Next, make sure you have Snap to Grid turned on. This little button right here turns Snap off and on. Make sure you have Snap turned on. Now, hold down the Control key and right click in the timeline here. And you see that allows you to mark so many measures. The program is automatically set to play in loop mode. That's this little cycle thing here. Press play. Okay, now this zooms you in and out. Now let's make a copy of that by holding down the Alt key and dragging it. And since we have Snap to Grid turned on, do that again, let go. Now hold down the Alt key and drag. Now hold down the control key and right click in the timeline down there. So now we've got eight complete bars of that loop repeating itself. Let's go back to Audacity and let's bring in another loop. Here's a bass loop. Now go up under Effect and you'll see this is a stereo file. This has a left and a right channel. Go under Effect, Change Tempo, and we're going to do the same thing. Now this one's pretty close. So you can see here it says 4.04. .04. So let's make it nice and tight and just say 4. Okay, now File, Export as Wave, and we'll just name it Base 120 for now, and we're going to save it into that same folder. Now go back to Crystal. Now this button here switches between mono and stereo. When it's yellow, that means it's in stereo. When it's off, it's mono. Now that bass track was a stereo track, so we're going to switch this to stereo. 
And it doesn't hurt to name these. You can name this drums, name this bass, etc. Find our bass file that we just made. The program will pre-play it for you. And you can tell by looking right now that it lines up with the grid pretty good already since we know it's four seconds long and 120 beats per minute. Four seconds is our measure. We'll do the same thing. Hold down the Alt key. Remember we have Snap to Grid turned on. So we're going to make copies of that and snap it into place. These are your magnifying tools up here. Play that. I've got a synth loop here. Same thing. It's got a bunch of dead air at the beginning, so we'll trim that off. This thing here takes you all the way down to the end again. These controls up here are just like a tape player or tape recorder. Select that, hit delete. Now select all, say effect, change tempo. Now there's our synth loop. File, export as wave. And it helps to give your files a name that has the tempo in them. Because later on, if you're deciding to build a song out of loops again, you know you can match them up a little easier. Now I've got another loop I want to put in there just for fun. Now we have another problem with this. It's not just the tempo. This happens to be in a different key. Now our bass loop was in the key of B. This loop is in the key of B flat. So we can also change the pitch. So you go up under effect again and go to change pitch. And you'll see and then you can set it here from pitch A sharp B flat to B. And you can also do that instead of doing it that way, you can go semitones right here. So we know it's in B flat and we want to change it to B, so you can just say change it one semitone. And now it should be in B. Of course you could change it uh, a whole step and make it A flat if you needed to. Now we're going to change the tempo. So we'll say effect change tempo, except this thing is longer. This thing is 11 and 3 quarters seconds long. So that means it's a couple of bars long. So we don't want to make it 4 seconds, do we? We want to make it 8 seconds because it's going to cover two of our previous loops. So we'll just change that time down there to 8 seconds. Say OK, file, export as wave, and we'll just say horns 120x2, so we know it covers two bars. All right, now let's go back to crystal, and let's put our synth loop here, bring it in, and you can see that it fits, and we'll duplicate it. Don't forget to save your project. <laughs> Now you'll see that that uh, horn loop covers two of our other. Just drag that and make a copy. Uh, bring up your mixer. And you can do a little mixing on there. Of course you can be as creative as you like and you can keep going with that. Come up with some clever compositions. Of course, when you're happy with your project, you can just export mix down and you've got yourself a song.